Hey guys, I'm the Sprint 007, and the last video I posted was Google App Inventor. Kids can now um, program visually. And if you haven't seen the video, it will be in the description box down there. And I said I'll make a follow-up video to that video on my app for the iPhone. I read a little more about that, and I found out that it's only for the Android. So you need an Android phone to be to make it compatible. I read all the steps. I plugged in my iPhone. I tried going into settings, uh, and applications wasn't there. And then I found out what read a little more. It's only for the Android. So all you people out there who tried on your iPhones, just make sure. Uh, well, not make sure. It's not gonna happen. So I don't want you guys to be disappoint disappointed. So I just thought I'll make a quick um, update video on this. Just um, informing everybody who has an iPhone and um, tried it because it's not going to work. I tried it. I sent like four uh, times my email for them and it still didn't work. So I just gave up and then kept reading and then I found out. And that's going to raise the stakes for Apple because uh, now Google Android just made an app inventor and for the iPhone 3GS you need programming skills to make an uh, Apple iPhone uh, app, but I have little programs because I really don't want to make an iPhone app, and I want to see if people can download it, and make some money off it, if it gets kind of um high in there. So um uh uh Apple is going to probably make one of the app inventors in the future. Watch out for that. It will come probably in a year or two. I don't know when. It, it will come. I'm just saying that. So um, this is just a follow-up video to that video and just saying I'm not going to make a follow-up video to this video to that video um, about my app I've made because I can't make one. So I'm the Sprinter 007. Please rate, subscribe, and comment for more videos. Thanks.